Today we're going to be doing a skills block lesson. Um, we're going to sing our engagement text song. Feel free to sing it along with me. Gather around together and listen up well. We're going to read a story that you can retell. When we read the story, you will grow. At the end, you'll say back what you know. So that song is telling us we need to be good listeners to the story so that you can answer questions about the story at the end. Okay, with this story, there's no pictures, so I like to make the pictures in my mind. Now, the title of our story is called Josh's New Home. And remember, Josh is that little rat that we've been reading all, a lot, all about. Josh lives in a little hole in an alley wall. He wants to make his rat hole the coziest and most inviting rat hole in the alley. So, he has been collecting items from the alley trash cans for weeks, using them to decorate his little home. Josh invites his friend Ben over to show him his newly decorated rat hole. Wow, says Ben as he walks into the den. This looks great. You even have a rug. Yes, Josh says proudly. I found, it, I found a piece of red fabric and it was the perfect size for a rug. And a bed, says Ben. Yes, Josh says. I stuffed some cotton balls into a mitten. It is very comfortable. Josh and Ben sit in the den and chat. They talk about the weather and their alley friends. Josh offers Ben a snack. They split a peanut butter and dip it into a packet of jam Josh found. May I have a drink, asks Ben. Of course. Here's some water, Josh says as he hands Ben a plastic water bottle top he uses as a cup. But Ben drops the cup and spills the water all over the rug. Oh no, says Ben, I'm so sorry. You have worked so hard to decorate your place and now I have made a mess. I decorated my rat hole so I could share it with my friends, says Josh. I wouldn't even care if you got sticky jam all over the floor. I'm just happy to share my home. Ben and Josh sit back down and continue to enjoy their snack and each other's company. Okay, so our first um, learning target today is using evidence from the text. I can answer questions about the story, Josh's new home. Okay, and the key part to that is using evidence from the text. That means when we don't know the answer, we look back in the story to help us find it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our comprehension questions. My first question is, what things has Josh put into his home? Okay, what things? So think about it. How did he decorate his home? What was in it? So one thing he has is a rug. It's a red piece of fabric. He has a bed. He uses plastic water bottle tops for cups. So those are just a couple things that Josh put in his rat home. Who does Josh invite into his home? Can you remember his name? So he invites Ben into his rat home. Ben is another rat just like Josh. In the story, it says that Josh wanted to make his rat hole the coziest and most inviting rat hole in the alley. What does the word coziest mean? Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, it says here he wants it to be the coziest and most inviting rat hole in the alley. So he's been collecting items from the trash can for weeks to decorate it. So he wants to decorate it. Cozy means comfortable. He uses things like a rug and a, a bed to make his home comfortable. Cozy. Josh said that his rug was made of red fabric. What is fabric? That's a good question. Fabric is... um material that you can use to make into other things. So think about our clothes. Our clothes, before they were shaped like a shirt, was blue fabric. 
Okay, and here's a couple more trickier questions. So this will test if you're really listening. What does Ben think of Josh's home? Hmm, who remembers what Ben says? Ben says, wow, this looks great. You have even hung a rug. So Ben is impressed by his home. Why was Ben sorry when he spilled the water? Who remembers why Ben was sorry? He says, I am so sorry. You've worked so hard to decorate your place and now I've made a mess. So he feels sorry because Josh worked really hard to decorate his house and he wanted his house nice and Ben's making it messy. Why is Josh not mad about the mess? Who remembers what Josh said? Josh said, I decorated my rat hole so I could share it with my friends. I wouldn't care if you got sticky jam over the floor. I'm just happy to share my home. So Josh isn't mad because the reason he wants a nice house is to share it with his friends and that's what they're doing. Okay, now we have our decodable reader song. And now we'll read a story with letters that we know. Get your finger ready to follow the flow. When we see a word, we'll stop and look and get our mouths ready to read the book. One thing I heard in that song is that we're going to get our fingers ready. Let's make sure when we're reading, we're finger pointing. Now, our target today is I can blend tricky words in the text. So blend is just a fancy way of saying to sound it out. When we get to a word we don't know, we're going to give it our letter sounds and sound it out. Now, on this page, I have some of the words that are in the book that are going to be tricky. So we're going to go and give each letter a sound, and I always like to say, sing it out loud and you'll hear the word. I'm going to model on the first one. So I see R, and I know R says R. I see U, it says uh, and this is a fancy G, it says G. But when I say those sounds like that, I really don't hear the word. So this time when I do it, I'm going to sing it. Ready? Rug. Rug. My ears can hear the word when I sing it. I'm going to do one more with you, and then I'm going to give you a couple to try on your own. Okay, so there's that R again. So we've got R. E says eh, E elephant eh. And D says D. Now let's sing it together. Are you ready? R -e -d. Red. Good job. Okay, I'm going to give you a little less help this time. So, think about what B says. Think about E, elephant, eh. And think about what N says. Now, you're going to sing it. I'm going to keep my voice off. Did you hear it? Let's do it together now. B, N, Ben. That's his friend Ben, the other rat. Okay, think about what B says. Think about what E says. Think about what D says. Now sing it, go. Did you figure it out? If you didn't, do it with me now. B, E, D, bed. That word is bed. Let's try on this one. Think about what S says. Think about what I says. And think about what T says. Now let's sing it. Ready? Go. Did you get it? I'll try it with you this time. It. Sit. Good job. Ooh, we've got a digraph here. Remember our digraph chant? C H together says ch. C H together says ch. So for this one, I'm not going to say two sounds. I'm just going to say one sound. I'm going to say ch. Okay, think about what A says. And think about what T says. Now we're going to put it all together. Ch. Did you figure it out? I'll help you. Ch. At. Chat. That word is chat. And our last one, J. Do you remember what J says? Say jellyfish. And then we've got A. What does A say? And M. Okay. Oops. Moving. 
Let's put it all together. Ready? Did you figure it out? Let's do it together. J am jam. That word is jam. Okay, now we're going to use that target of blending our words together, hearing all the sounds, um, to read the book Josh's New Home. So here's Josh. This must be his friend Ben. Okay, I like this because it's got the pictures. Okay, now just looking at this page, there's already some words jumping out at me that I know in a snap because they're sight words. We know the and we know is. Those words we don't know, we're going to blend. The rug. Rug is red. Red. Let's put it together because that was very choppy. The rug is red. Your turn. I'm going to turn my voice off. You point and read. Ready? Go. Good job. Okay, let's look at this page. Let's see what words we know. A lot of us know this word, can, see, that's a sight word, and a. But there's a couple words on here that we don't know, so we're going to have to sound them out. Sound them out with me. B, N, Ben, can, see, a, B, Ed, bed. Ben can see a bed. Good. Okay. Hmm. On this page, I see Ben looking at that bed. Remember, they talked about it was the cotton ball stuffed into the mitten. Let's see. What words do we know? We know is. We know by. We know the. We know a lot of these words. Let's read it. B N Ben is by the B Ed bed. Now, keep in mind, Ben and bed were on the other page, so sometimes our reader brain can just remember the words if you've already read them. Ben is by the bed. Your turn. Point and read. Good job. Ooh, we know this word. This is Josh. Josh and Ben sit. Sit. And what does ch again say again? Ch at chat in the d n den. This word is d n den. Josh and Ben sit and chat in the den. Notice how when I got here, I had to go down and over. Can you take your pointer finger and read the words? Ready? Go. Good job. Hmm. So I know that word is Josh, and I know that name is Ben because we've read those a lot of times. Josh, Ben, we know that word's A, and we know that word's and, and, but there are some words on here we don't know, so we're going to use that strategy and sound them out. Josh, Ed, Fed, Ben, A, M. Uh, t, nut, and j, am, jam. Okay, but that was very choppy. Let's make it smooth. Josh fed Ben a nut and jam. Your turn. Good job. I know this word is the, and I know this word is is. Look at the picture. Oh, this must be where Ben spilled that water. And there's that bottle cap cup they were talking about. The rug, rug is wet. I knew this word was wet because I thought about the story and I used that beginning sound. Wet. Yep, it makes sense. Let's read it again. The rug is wet. Your turn. Good time and this time I'm going to let you do the reading. Make sure you use your pointer finger and if you get to a word you don't know, sound it out. I'll pause and when I'm done uh, when I've given you enough time to read it, I will read it just in case you made a mistake. Go ahead and try to read the title. The title is Josh's New Home.
the rug is red. Ben can see a bed. Ben is by the bed. Josh and Ben sit and chat in the den. Josh fed Ben a nut and jam. The rug is wet. Nice reading, boys and girls. So, my last question before I sign off for today is what strategy do we use when we get to an unknown word when reading a decodable text? These texts are decodable because we can sound every word out. What do we do when we get to those tricky words? Remember that today's target, let's look back, is to blend tricky words. And that means to... Sound it out. So if you said when you get to a tricky word, if you give it all those sounds, and Miss Preller's trick is to always sing it, um, you can hear that unknown word. Great job, boys and girls. Thanks for visiting today. I can't wait to um, do some more skills work with you tomorrow. 